Hi Virgo, I'm Shara from Charlie's Angel Terror and welcome to this reading for the 30th of March till the 6th of April 2020 and I hope you are okay and well and hopefully healthy as in this difficult time. I won't go into it, it is what it is and uh, it makes everything seem as if we're in a permanent uh, uh, Mercury retrograde. Please, um, if you are a new member, please hit that subscribe bell and uh, the button, subscribe button I mean, and the bell, then you'll be notified when something new is happening on the channel and um, when I'll be uh, uh, uploading new videos. I do go live on Monday and Friday in English and Super Chat and Super Stickers are available. That is if you want a specific question answered, I answer the question with three cards and an oracle card. If you would like an extensive reading, then uh, you can go below this video and all the information is there as well, or you can click on the little circle just there, um, the white circle, and it will take you to the website. There I also keep things up to date and um, you can see the uh, cards, these cards, uh, under the heading uh, Introducing or Reviewing uh, Tarot Decks and uh, there you can see lots of reviews that I've done. I've done the interview this week with the author of this deck, The Enchanted Dreams Tarot and it was lovely to meet the lady and the interview, even if I say so myself, was very enjoyable and clear. We, we got also some secrets, some, because there's new decks coming out, so she's lifted the tip of the fail Yasmin and I'm also using Michelle's decks and that's the Angel Feather and the Archangel Michael deck. Also welcome to the um, uh, my Cyber Angels, thank you very much for coming back and for all your support and giving the thumbs up and sharing with family and friends. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of things happening. Also, the uh, the weekly vlog, the witches, uh, the witches vlog. Uh, every Wednesday, there is some uh, a new vlog up in on the website, and that is exciting too, because I I collaborate with somebody else, and um, it is a great hit up till now, and it's very interesting. And the coming week, it's going to be even more interesting. So um, there will be also new decks coming, I'm waiting for them to come but everything is also slowed down because a lot of people as you we all know are, uh, cannot go to work because of the situation. So it might take longer than I have anticipated. Okay Virgo, I hope uh, you will enjoy this reading and have a scout around on YouTube and see whether anything else resonates with you. And after I've done all the readings for the coming week, I'll be going on to the romance readings for April. So let's get started. The first card that you have is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles means uh, recognition is yours. Uh, you are being noticed for your diligence and hard work. And she's thinking here, what can I do next? Perhaps you might be going on to a new job or an other study. She is holding a book after all. But in this, um, in this card, she's really looking uh, into the distance and sort of like dreamlike. Is this really me? Have I really passed all the um, expectations, examinations? Well, uh, pr uh, we all know that some of us might not uh, be able to do, our children might not be able to do examinations uh, this year. So, um, perhaps she's uh, realizing that as well. And perhaps uh, an 18 year old or a, a university or college student that's older than 18 because these videos are entertainment and for older than 18 uh, might be thinking how can I solve this issue or this problem. 
we are all in the same boat but perhaps you might be able to do your um, your uh, exam or to get your qualification in a different way so because you've been working hard uh, steadily and diligently and you've got f uh, top marks then perhaps there is a way of um, getting the uh, school or the, the institution to give you enough recognition to say that you are capable of going on to the next level because look at the ladder that is there you want to carry on perhaps you might start work uh, part-time and studying part-time perhaps you're doing an internship perhaps that is the message from this reading if you can't go to school or university try to do it with an internship it's going to deliver money for you something that you can share perhaps knowledge or perhaps you might be the teacher um, as you've got the six of cups so this is my share and share alike card if you are uh, fortunate then you might be giving something to somebody else if you are less fortunate then perhaps somebody else uh, will be sharing knowledge a listening ear or a gift of money so that you can finish this uh, because it might cost extra to do this examination if you really want to get it okay so uh, I think you are going to find a good solution for your uh, issue but because you have got this uh, acknowledgement like I said it will uh, whatever solution you are going to give like being a teacher or uh, having a job on the site to pay for the next study I think this is going to give you uh, not only uh, life experience or wisdom in that respect but like the hermit as we've already got to see the hermit lying there but it's going to bring in money and money that's going to stand you in good stead for a dura uh, with durability and long term as you've got the nine of coins it will bring richness and abundance in okay like I said uh, uh, it, it is the coins card but I think it's also giving you life experience and wisdom which is needed for your advancement perhaps you will be a spiritual teacher perhaps you might be a yoga teacher perhaps you might be a kundalini teacher or um, uh, uh, any kind of alternative teacher this is what I'm getting for you I know uh, a Virgo not everybody else everybody uh, can be uh, a spiritual teacher but let's say to teach how to improve life um, as the hermit means taking time out to have a rest and um, look he's also walking the uh, mountain path you can you can see the valley down below life is depths and peaks it's up and down and the hermit um, he goes into retreats meditation like she's sitting there staring in the distance so that is also like a retreat or a moment out it is also called meditation contemplation manifestation so take time out around midweek and see what you can do what the options are throw away what is of no use to you and take away uh, the knowledge and the life experience lighten your load for the new beginning this is a difficult reading for me I must admit that because it is basically advancing sharing um, improving that is the message and uh, also uh, somewhere delays uh, pending that's the word I'm getting with her watching in staring into the distance balancing uh, like Libra does uh, but I am reading for Virgo um, and we all have to balance things from time to time work or school uh, or study let me put it that way um, and 
home front so perhaps um, you might be a young mother or a young father and you have to be at home uh, and you've got it extra heavy because you are learning from home and the kids are making noise because they are at home now and you cannot advance but don't worry because you've got recognition and you are climbing the ladder because abundance is coming in also knowledge is coming in one way or another that will improve your life mentally and physically then we've got the two ones and we've got that upside down I hope you can see that that's the two ones it would be lying like that and that means making plans for the future well you feel I think trapped at this moment or you are forcefully delayed um, at the moment uh, for making plans in the future or you don't know uh, you might have been making plans like I said at the beginning of the week uh, you were making plans on how to continue excuse me and just take a sip of water I do get a dry mouth so at the moment on Friday well it's Friday you can't do anything usually on a Friday Saturday or Sunday so that is literally um, the visual that I can see already in in happening uh, but on Friday something might happen that you cannot make plans because it's um, the tower moment and the tower moments uh, look at this beautiful deck she is chained up and you feel chained up but this is um, because you couldn't make decisions or choices uh, whilst making plans it's not the number three of ones because then you've already made the choice and it is if, it's if you are up in your head um, and this card is saying you will get the change unexpectedly because you are stalling by making decisions and choices uh, because you are still in the planning stage right it's uh, it's not the right side up so you are stalling the plans you are stalling decisions um, you don't know which path to choose you need more information well something is happening on Friday <coughs> excuse me something is happening uh, on Friday that your choice will be set for you so um, it is out of your hands there is a door closing and there are already many changes apparent at this moment and time and stage of life and the world uh, but this is your little world okay so this choice is coming uh, this is coming without a choice so remember if one door closes 20 will open yes 20 doors will open so there will be plenty of choices perhaps something even better than you expected now the overall energy is the death card and that card is also that's the death card and you can see it's you, a transformation you don't see anybody's face but you can see a butterfly and the rose love a butterfly transformation but it is lying upside down so yes um, there is a, um, something is stalling is put on a hold that is what I'm getting with this new beginning because you can see um, uh, the death is also here facing the uh, reading so no the light is not coming in okay the light is not coming in I don't see connection it's the dark side of death that is here so there is a stagnation with this transformation although it on Friday something is happening or on Saturday the energy can be throughout the week but definitely this this is the overall um, theme analytic card energy there it, it 
you will be getting news wow I didn't see this you will be get and I said Saturday so if it isn't happening on Friday you will get news on Saturday this could be cyber news that could be email text message or telephone call and usually you see the arrows flying through the air so it's happening all at once and here I see a wheel so you might go up a grade so you might get a promotion you might have to stay at this job perhaps you don't like it perhaps um, you do have to travel because this is also uh, the card for travel perhaps you might have to do a review um, or um, what you call it um, a review uh, oh, I forgot the word now sorry um, sorry an interview perhaps you might tra have to travel for an interview um, with this college for further advancement uh, for the next level although it's not the wheel of fortune there's many things happening and I'm getting the feeling that there are more options than one or two and I see the word 10 uh, difficult look you um, are the 10 means an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning and this is also shaking up your world something was not built on proper foundations this new beginning that's coming uh, is and has to be built on proper foundations that is why everything is being stalled that's why you are not in the transformation mode but there is change okay there is an unexpected change something that you didn't see or didn't plan look at the two of ones also lying upside down like I said it's taken out of your hands the last steps are really the most difficult steps okay so don't give up don't give up look at all the butterflies it, it's it's coming it's coming the butterflies are coming out of nowhere and you can see a big butterfly on your back and he's untying the string how amazing is this I've had these cards so often in my hand since I've got them that now is the first time I'm seeing that the butterfly is pulling the string loose to lighten your load it could be an angel uh, being depicted by the butterfly everything will fall into place that is what I'm hearing everything falling into place the divine and the angels are showing you the way then we have the orange angel uh, feather card and the Archangel Feather Card and I think for you I will start with the Archangel Feather Card Justice and Truth Scales in Balance the, the scales are balanced Archangel Michael hands you an energetic, an energetic key this sacred key ensures that the truth is revealed and the scales of justice are balanced wow and we've got the scales here and um, the contemplation there trying to balance your ideas looking into the future You're, you've got the two of ones but can't decide because um, uh, you are making plans but the scales will fall into balance because Archangel, the angel of, um, he's my air angel, he represents the throat, and Gemini is uh, the th uh, also um, um, a talker, communicator. The Gemini stands for communication, like all the other si signs, but I feel even more than Libra, the scales, again, air sign. Um, and uh, wisdom, learning, teaching, passing on wisdom, uh, judicial uh, uh, justice, that's the word, clarity, honesty, and that is coming your way. So Archangel is here 
for you big time okay we haven't got any um, specific uh, uh, people cards here but I think there might be a Virgo Capricorn or a Taurus uh, definitely um, uh, the scales here I would even go into that and say Libra is here for you Archangel Michael card and is giving you the scales the balance um, definitely I think a Libra might be very very um, uh, uh, prominent here okay okay now usually there, there are some major arcana uh, cards um, uh, in a reading the uh, the the only two that you know you've got one two three major arcana cards and this uh, is Scorpio the death that's why I should have seen that that's why you've got the Scorpio card um, the Scorpio card it's also representing somebody with Scorpio perhaps uh, Scorpio is blocking your advancement this could be a teacher this could be a parent this could be uh, <coughs> somebody around you that's holding on to you but uh, by the end of the week the change the the, the change is here uh, it will be uh, ginormous um, the the hermit is Virgo so Virgo you are in your strength in the middle of your week um, but definitely um, uh, you your the Hermit and the Scorpio um, are prominent in this reading okay um, so it, I think uh, let's have a look Scor Scorpio and Virgo that's the Hermit so these if it is not you uh, being in your element taking time out and trying to yeah that is what I'm feeling um, getting so much more it starts to work it's amazing it, it never seems to amaze me let's get to the orange card first choose to feel good the angels ask that you let go of old emotions and any emotional pain from the past when these are released joy will warm your heart choose to feel good yes let go of old things that have hurt you in the past but also the old ways of life you have you have advanced you've learned the new things of uh, life how they should be you've been doing your retreats and contemplations look at this and you've got the acknowledgements so now it's up to you to teach others and this could be the big change you want to be a, a bi biological uh, laboratory um, assistant or whatever you want to call it or a doctor but no um, there is a need for your qualities to do something totally different and pass on your knowledge something that you um, didn't expect something you thought perhaps you weren't good enough again sharing here um, you you are gifted with something and needs to pass on look at the people waiting for your knowledge for your um, explanation you might be boom out there again Michael is prominent here okay prominent Libra is prominent although it's not on a major arcana card representing Libra uh, I get a strong feeling Libra Libra also Archangel Michael Gemini Gemini is air also an air sign so communicating and wisdom and also the hermit is wisdom needs to be passed on then this card will turn around and this card will turn round you will have your 
balance and your new beginning let me put it that way and that is the most important of all so that you can flourish and move on with this new beginning a 10 is an ending and a new beginning like I said there has to be an ending before there can be a new rebirth okay um, Virgo I hope you have enjoyed this reading please share and like this video and please hit subscribe and hit that bell and come in and join the cyber family on Monday and on Friday and if you can speak Dutch for one reason or another join us on Wednesday so take care and be blessed and awesome I love you all. Thank you.